Oh, we got one. Oh, no, we got one. <laughs> it's been a while. It's probably been a month or two, maybe two months, but we got one this time. Uh, they, uh, it's my kryptonite. So I've got another toy Amazon custom return liquidation palette. This one hopefully is as good as the last one I had from Tuesday night, which was a fantastic palette, had tons of Legos in it. This one did not have Lego in the title. It was just toys. Like Tuesday night it actually said Lego and toys. And that palette was full of Legos, some pretty expensive Legos. I'm still excited about the palette from a couple nights ago, but this one was just toys. So like I told you, I'm gonna have several videos in the next couple weeks, like last week and this week, and maybe one more next week of just toy pouts because I was able to get quite a few for pretty good prices. So I picked them up. So this one has a total MSRP, Amazon.com price of $1,875. That is if everything was brand new on Amazon, that's how much everything would cost in these five boxes that came on one pallet. My price included taxes, Fees, buyer's premium, $180. That is all I paid. No shipping costs. I buy locally. I pick up in person. So, five boxes. We got toys. So, fingers crossed that this one is as awesome as the last palette. Right on top. I see a Lego. But let's not do that. This box says, like five six things in it maybe and <laughs> not much in this box but first thing this is actually kind of nice we got a waterproof mattress cover looks to be brand new still factory packaged that's not bad probably a good 20 bucks right there then let's pull out this and then we'll pull out the lego so we have a six axis gyro flying trainer so this trainer is actually just styrofoam itself so I want to make sure this flying trainer is not broken because it's just styrofoam but package is not in bad shape it's been opened up it's not factory sealed so it might have been used I have to make sure it's actually fully functional but that's probably another good 15 20 bucks on that let's go ahead let's pull it out we have well wow, that's a big one okay so this one actually has the person's name and address right on the front of this box let me go ahead let me let me mark it out because it is right on the front of this box so this was purchased by somebody back on December 22nd 2018 this is a Christmas present for for, for somebody and it was actually this would have been dropped off at a Amazon locker pickup kind of a station but this is a Lego Jurassic Park model number 75930. It is not fire sealed. It has been opened up. And then somebody just retaped it. Let's go ahead, let's glance inside. Let's see if the innards are still factory sealed though. Yeah, somebody peeled back the tape the first time. They, they, they did it carefully, but it has been opened up and was just retaped. Okay, the insides look good. Factory sealed bag, factory sealed, factory sealed, factory sealed, factory, factory. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Two factory sealed bags. We've got the instruction booklet. This instruction booklet is huge. That's like a that's like a thick magazine. And that is everything. So the it was opened up originally by somebody else and then taped shut and then got returned to Amazon. So it's still, the contents are still brand new factory seal, which is fantastic because you can still sell it as, you know, like a new other open box item. I'm looking this up to see how much that sells for on Amazon. So on Amazon.com, this set retails for $129.99 
but right now it's on sale for $116.98. So pretty much a $117 Lego set. That's fantastic. I paid 180 bucks for this whole pallet. This thing right here alone is worth 117, but it is opened up. The, the box is opened up, but all the contents are still completely factory sealed. So since it's opened up, I usually knock off usually like around like 25 30 percent of the price just because the cardboard box was opened so for 120 or sells new for what's like 117 i'll probably try to sell this thing for maybe like 80 or 90 bucks i'm gonna have to kind of do a little research online and figure out exactly what my price will be, but I'm guessing if I'd be between 80 and 90 is what I'm actually gonna charge for it in that range, more than likely. Yeah, something like that. So next, remote control car, we got a Speedstorm 122 scale. Been used, had to try it out, but that's probably good in our 15 bucks on that one. We got training wheels for a bicycle. Brand is Moshe training wheels. We we'll to make sure that they're all in there. We got kind of a hodgepodge of things right here. Remote control flying helicopter used. If it works, about 10 bucks. Pacifier. Got a little stuffed animal. Lots well, of mess. We got a Dr. Brown's baby bottle kit, but woo, that thing's kind of trashed. Looks like it's new still, just the packaging is trashed. Then another small remote flying drone 10 bucks if it works so that's the first box the first box is actually was really good uh i'm but more than likely i'll probably make back probably most all my money on just this very first box in this pallet so that is fantastic news as a pallet flipper that the first box of your pallet i'll probably get all my money back so do the next one Box number two, well, if I can cut straight. What we got in this one? Some more bigger box stuff it looks like. We have a brand new children's toy with tags. It's like a reindeer looking thing. Brand is Mary Meyer, a reindeer. Has a tag attached to it and the barcode is showing. I can scan through really fast and find out prices on it. Oh, it sells new on Amazon for 10 bucks. It's actually a moose. So 10 bucks new. Got a baby item. It hangs from the crib that can play with it. Child's tray. For the stroller. We have uh, another stuffed animal. No tags on it, but it's like a sheep. Another stuffed animal is like a gnome. Brand on this one is Aurora. I'm not sure. We've got, looks like just some, probably like Nerf glasses, like safety glasses, some more glasses. This box kind of strange. Another stuffed animal. Oh, this is actually a puppet, looks like. A puppet, like a dragon. A little stick on it. Not bad on that. Barnyard Buddies, a puzzle. I'm a box item. I sell most used puzzles for like three to five dollars. Nellaboo five, five soft foam sports football tennis ball. So this is just foam balls in here. I got a football, tennis. So it actually feels like four tennis balls and one football. Little foam balls. A little something something. Four Dr. Brown baby bottles. They do look used. So used baby stuff, I always just donate it. I never try to sell the used stuff. Another used baby bottle. Here's some very small shoes. Tap dancing shoes. Capizio, very, very small. Look, infant tap, da tap dancing shoes. First time I ever got tap dancing shoes before. Oh, cool, here we have an Arya Stark, Game of Thrones. Uh, she's missing her hand, though. 
an Arya Stark Game of Thrones, kind of like an action figure with her right hand missing. I guess somebody pulled a Jamie Lannister on her and took her hand off. So that's only gonna be literally a few bucks or it might end up being like a, a donation. Then here we've got, this a Funko Pop? We got one of the Game of Thrones dragons right here. Yeah, it is. It is a out of box Funko Pop of one of the dragons. It's it's not. Is this which one is that? One of the three dragons. Some of the retired dragons can have pretty good value to it. This is actually a 2013 dragon. Mm, I'm curious now. Okay, so yeah, this is not worth much. This is actually released in 2014. It was May in 13. This is the Drogon. I mean, I think I'm, I'm saying it right. I'm bad with half these names. Drogon. Drogon, yeah. But it's only worth 11 bucks if it was in the actual box. Outside the box, it's probably like, like about five bucks. Not much. Got another thing of pacifiers, baby monitor, still factory sealed. That's still brand new. Factory sealed is good, 20 bucks. Then we've got manual breast pump. And last item in this box. Oh, there's actually a couple things underneath of it. We got the Vroom wooden toy. I saw that thing for probably like 10, 10 bucks in the past. Man, more baby stuff. The, the uh, top of this thing looked like it was like four or five things, but once I started to pull it out, there's all these small things on the bottom of the, of the box. Last two things, a crystal puzzle, and then like a starfish that's not broken yet. So, okay, it's our box number two. <laughs> this box is full of a lot of small stuff. Let me box this up, I'll be right back. Box three. That's, ah, this knife is getting so dull. I need to sharpen it really bad. Yeah, it's getting dull. Let's see what we got in this one. Man, I see, I see more baby stuff. The first box is fantastic. The second, third box, too much baby stuff. Baby item. Stride right children's shoes. Looks like the child wore these until they grabbed them and then the parent just returned them because the bombs on these things were pretty dirty and they shoe and they show quite a bit of wear, so yeah, whoever bought them, they returned them once they outgrew them. Oh, poker chips. A whole box of poker chips weighs probably about five pounds, and I probably sell for about 10 bucks. We've got a baby bottle warmer, the Avent brand. Still fighter seal, too. Awesome. Brand new one. So that's a good, uh, close to 20 bucks on that one, since it's fast still factory sealed. Another just baby stuff. Crib Mobile. I hate when Amazon just fills these things. Oh, we got one. Oh, no, we got one. <laughs> it's been a while. It's probably been a month or two, maybe two months, but we got one this time. <sighs> they, uh, it's my kryptonite. Here it is. Nose Frida Snot Sucker. Not just one, but we actually have in this box the Mom Washer and the Snot Sucker. We've got two of the trifecta. Now we just need the gas pass, which actually we got in the last pallet. But the mom washer, the postpartum angled peri bottle, and the nose Frida snot sucker, where you put it in your child's nose, you put it in your mouth, and you suck out your children's snot. So disgusting. So disgusting. Ugh. The snot sucker. The box of those things absolutely crunch, too. We got one though. <laughs> got the snot sucker. Success. 
no matter what, this palette is complete. Makeup kit, it's his pink in color. Looks to be, well, well it's, it's new, but the lash doesn't, doesn't work correctly. Oh, it shut that time. Looks like it has issues to it. Some more brand new baby bottles. That's probably a good 10 bucks. No, that's actually a little bit of a nicer baby bottles. Yeah, that's probably a good 10 bucks. Then we have, oh, like a, that fishing. Put, you put your uh, water hose to this and then it spins around and it shoots out water that the kids can play in. Two things left in this box. Mermaid swim cap. That could be good, probably five, 10 bucks. We have a whole bag of squishy things. All squishy. Okay, I'm gonna box this up. We're gonna move on to the next box. And hopefully, no more baby stuff. Seriously, Amazon, no more baby stuff. I'll be back. Number four out of five. <laughs> right. right on top we have some bounce. Wait, that's kind of strange. So we got some bounce laundry sheets in a toy palette. Okay, if you say so. Don't know what that is. Some weird plastic contraption. No clue. Black and Decker. This is not. This kind of took a 360. Yeah, this isn't what I would call toys. <laughs> Looks like in a toy palette there was a box of like home goods. Well, I call it hodgepodge. It's different. Black and Decker. It's been opened up and resealed by Amazon. This is a what nine volt vacuum. Not bad. I sell them for like fifteen bucks. Then we have looks like a brand new. The the side of it got opened up, but a size large forty two forty four tag free V necks. Size large. That'd be pretty easy to sell that. Probably like ten bucks on those. <laughs> In a toy palette, we have a Black & Decker 20 volt, like a leaf blower. Really? Okay. Yeah, I completely think that they accidentally put in a hodgepodge box in, in my toy palette. We got a two pack of Damp Red, brand new, still factory sealed. You can't be mad about that. It's kind of funny actually. So we go from a total baby box. Now I'm opening up a box of hodgepodge. That's kind of funny. That's Amazon for you. Liquidations can say toys. Turn around and it's everything but toys. This sells new for four bucks on Amazon. So this will just be a uh, sell it locally for a couple bucks. But there are several in here. I got three of them. So they sell for four bucks a piece. So, full price is 12. I'll probably try to get like 8 to 10 out of all three combined. Then we have an electronic mousetrap. If you watched me in the past, I've told you the story about the one time I had a mousetrap in, in a liquidation. I opened it up and inside of the mousetrap was a dead mouse. True story. Craziness, but people returned to Amazon. Here's we got, looks like a, another, just like a v-neck blue t-shirt. Then we have another package of six t-shirts. Comfort Ultimate. Retails for 40 bucks. It's a size medium. It's been opened up. Uh, like I'll probably try to sell like 10, 15 bucks. Two items left in this box. 
Magic Erasers. <laughs> we, I, I swear, we're doing a toy palette right now. <laughs> we're doing a toy palette. And then, I'm actually going to keep this box sealed. There's a barcode on it. I can look this thing up really quick and see what it actually is. 0629641933833. So that is the UPC code on it. Okay, so this is a what's in that box is a Moonray Solar LED Fairy Garden Decor and Angel with Glowing Dove design. Sells for $17 new. The box still appears, actually it's been, no, it's been retaped by Amazon Warehouse Deal, so it is possibly used or it could be damaged on the inside but if it's if it's good to go i'll probably try to sell for like at least 10 bucks i bet so this toy palette i was complaining about getting out too many baby stuff so amazon just said you know what if you're tired of baby stuff here's a box of hodgepodge for you it made it fun it threw me a curveball so i got what one box left I'll be right back Number five, last one. So at least this has been an interesting and a fun palette. Been different. First box actually has paper in it. Kind of happy to get some of this paper because I actually reuse this paper for other stuff. Okay, doesn't look too bad. I see some baby stuff on top. Let's go back to the baby stuff. We have a four pack of the Dr. Brown baby bottles, or five pack. But they're all still brand new. So go ahead, I'm gonna scan this barcode. Ooh, dang, okay, that sells new. It's actually kind of expensive. Sells new for $31.27, so 30 bucks. I'm gonna try to sell for at least 20. More likely, that's what I'm gonna try to get out of it. Will I get 20? Yes. Next, silicone bottle brush. Oh, these are super, super nice for, of course, they're, they're meant for baby bottles, but you can also can use these for sport bottles, coffee mugs, all kinds of cool stuff. Might actually have to keep this. Might to keep it. And then I'm gonna pull this thing out because it looks factory sealed. <clears throat> it is factory sealed still. We got Monopoly Fortnite. It got liquidated because the corner of the box got damaged in the, in the Amazon warehouse, so they liquidated it. The board game though is 100% brand new, factory sealed. Just box has a little kind of ding on the box. But that will hurt value a little bit. Like, you know, because a lot of people who buy these games buy these and they don't want the box, you know. But actually, well, from the front, you can't even tell that the box has a little bit of, of damage on it. It won't actually knock off that much off the price, honestly. Not very much. And it sells new on Amazon for, wow, that price plummeted. It retails for $19.99 right now. It's on sale on Amazon for $11.16. Wow, it's on sale for 11 bucks. I, and I, mine's damaged box. I'll be lucky to get probably like five to eight bucks for this thing now. Not very much, yeah, but that's, it's so cheap, it's not even shippable. It has to be sold locally. Like that's not a shippable thing. It'll cost more to ship it than what it, it actually sells for because of the size of the box. Diaper Nanny Depot. Huh, never seen this before. More baby stuff, of course. I'm gonna look this thing up real quick because I've, I've never seen this. I'm just, honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of curious. So sells new, it pulled up books. <laughs> so I have to look the thing up later and figure out how much the Organize the Chaos Depot sells for. Well, we got a Baby Einstein book. It's been opened up. Uh, not a bad item though. No? Probably good Baby tent. Einstein. Shh. Count with me. Shh. No, I don't want to count. Next, we've got why not? I'm stuck to it. Easy Expression Bustier Size Medium. Why is this in a toy palette? It looks like it might be new. <laughs> really? Why is this in a toy palette? I guess it has to do with baby, you know, 
but here we got a total of six glass bottles. They don't look used, they just look like no packaging, but I'll probably sell for like 10 bucks total. We have a torn, it's a girl card. <laughs> okay. First year frame. Oh, it's cracked though. The the grass the glass is cracked. That stinks. Okay, finally we got like a toy. Finally, Transformers. Finally, it's been a while. We got Robot or Autobot Jazz Transformer. That's cool. Only about five bucks though because it's used. Car humidifier. I'm pretty sure that's probably what baby item. No, not not really. It could be, actually it's just car humidifier. Not baby stuff. Awesome. Oh, we've got the Bam Boobsies. Nursing pads. <laughs> My goodness. So much baby stuff. We got some more baby shoes. Let's let's glance. Let's see if the person did did the same thing and returned them once their child out outgrew them. Oh yeah, yeah. Those things actually have wear and tear on the bottom of them. So yeah. So once their child grew grew out of these shoes, probably within a few months they just returned them to Amazon, got their money back. Bassinet fitted sheet. Ah, uh, a little tiara crown for a child. Baby spoons, like silicone things. We got some a bag of bouncing balls. Almost done. Another sippy cup. This attaches to the baby's uh, high chair. Last item. No more baby stuff, please. Adjustable glitter junior skate combo. So you got roller skates and arm pad and or and knee pads in there. Okay, so that's it. That's all five boxes. I don't want to see baby stuff for at least 24 hours. That was a lot of baby stuff. So that was a toy palette. Uh, it will still be profitable, but I've got so much baby stuff right now. This is ridiculous. So uh, I do sell baby mystery boxes, and I've got a lot of product right now to make some more boxes. I've got a couple made right now, but they're sold so just from these five boxes, I've I've got enough stuff to make at least, you know, a good because my boxes are like they're pretty good size, and the baby is forty dollars plus shipping. Uh, yeah, so I've got enough to make one really good baby box or a couple of them. I bet. Anyway, yeah, and the used baby stuff gets donated. I don't sell it because I don't sell used baby stuff. But the but the new stuff, I always like selling it in baby mystery boxes so that's how most of that stuff will get sold from this palette the baby stuff the good stuff like this that actually like this sells new for like 30 bucks but i'll put that into one of the mystery boxes and like have it yeah i mean anyway so that's it that's all i got for you i've got one more toy palette over there still that i'll do next week at some time or tuesday or thursday i might give kind of like a day off from toy palette and just do a pure hodgepodge palette Maybe next Tuesday because I have a hodgepodge that's over there. Then I've got electronics palette for this coming Saturday. So look forward to that. And I will see you all next time. I'm out.